Hi everyone, we are back and today we have this fake Littlest Pet Shop playset. Before we start this video, I just want to say that you should click down here right now and subscribe. Okay, so looking over here on the left, we see these three little symbols. The first one says watch. So I guess because we're looking at this toy with our eyes, we're technically watching it, but I mean, it's not gonna do any tricks or anything, so yeah. Uh, next it says that it's hands-on, uh, but according to the symbols like hands on a foot, uh, I highly recommend you do not step on this toy. It would probably be very painful. Um, and the last one down here says, it's intellice. I, I think they mean intelligence, but I like how there's like these thought rays coming out of this little kid's brain. <laughs> it's intellicing. Uh, see what I did there? <laughs> no. Okay, so it's supposed to be intelligence, but uh, it's funny because they typoed with lice and it's a head. So uh, do, you, do you make that connection? I don't, uh, okay, moving on. <laughs> Down here in the bottom corner next to our awesome pets, it says toys series with strong sense for playing. And uh, yeah. And in the top corner, it says take me home. Although it's a floating speech bubble with no pet or person saying it. Here is the sides. We can see some little pets and the logo. Same on this side, pets and logo. And here is the back. No words on the back other than the take me home and collect them all and littlest pet shop signage again. Uh, but we do get to see a whole bunch of cutie patootie little pets. So that's really cute. I don't know what's going on down here with this hermit crab. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Okay, does anybody else see this super giant boil thing, giant pimple thing on this hermit crab's face? Cause um, that doesn't look like it's usually something that you find on a Littlest Pet, in a Littlest Pet shop, so. Are they even called Littlest Pets or do you just call them pets? Good question, let me know in the comments below. Any hoozle, moving on. Take a quick peek at all these other cutie patootie little pets. Oh, I'm so excited. You got turtle and that boily hermit crab, and this little bunny thing, and a little ladybug, and this little French bulldog type thingy, and this little doggy thingy, and whatever that is, and this cute little cheap cheap birdie, and this octopus is super cute. Oh, it looks like an alien. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All right, so we've opened up the box, and this is what came inside. We can see that it's supposed to be some kind of, like, well, it's not like a king or queen, like, palace-y thing, but it's kind of got that vibe because we've got these curtains hanging down under this, like, awning with this really fancy roof and a gold bow, and we've got this fancy chair for our pet and palm trees, so it makes it feel like it's supposed to be somewhere super fancy. For some reason, in our deserty palm tree fancy location setting, we've got a mirrored pink <laughs> dresser and a yellow basket. <laughs> and what I think is supposed to be a teeter totter. This pink thing over here is just like a teeter totter. Because why not? Um, if we take a closer look at all this stuff, you will see that it is very, very bright and colorful. So this basket over here is just, actually it's pretty thick plastic. It's just a plastic yellow basket, nothing special about it. It does not say LPS anywhere on it. And on the bottom it just says made in China. Here we have a closer look at the little dresser and the mirror. Wait, can we see me? Where am I, where am I? Nothing, not a very good mirror. Anyways, so it's a pink dresser, two drawers. It doesn't actually open, the back is hollow. It's a, 
It's just barely 3D with a pretty terrible mirror sticker because you can't actually see anything. It's kind of cute, I guess. It's just a pink mirror and a dresser. Here is what I think is the teeter-totter. It's pink. It can't come apart, but it kind of seems like it might be able to if the glue that they use doesn't hold because it's kind of pulling. So, boom. That's what you call a teeter-totter, my friend. Over here we have our palace type setting. These are genuine, rare, two-of-a-kind palm trees. Notice the super sparseness of their foliage. Uh, that's how you know that you have a high quality phony palm tree right there. That is, yes, that is where it's at. And here we have our super fancy chair that spins. Whee! So you go up these little itty bitty steps doo -doo -doo, and you're on your fancy chin, your chin, you're on your fancy chin. You're on this fancy spinning chair because you are royal and regal and you are a littlest pet. Let's take a look behind this little setting and see what we have here. And to be honest, it's a little gross because if you look closely, it's really dirty inside. Not very appealing to the eye. Okay, here are our pets that came with this toy set. So, even though I know that they're fake, I just wanna go ahead before I even touch these and get disappointed or anything and say that so far these are my favorites and I wonder why that might be. Here are the pets that we got out of the package. It looks like we have a little orange horse. And its head does kind of move like a real LPS. It can pop right off though. So this is not very thick. The head is super squishy, very, very thin plastic. Not super squishy like a Masham, but very thin plastic. And the rest of it is just orange. No detailing on the hooves, nothing like that. Did I say hooves, funny? on the hooves. He does not have the signature LPS logo anywhere on his body, I'm noticing. And no hole in his foot to allow him to attach to the play sets. Whee! Next we have this little darling, and I had her hanging out there because she needed to be supported by this little thing. If you put her on her own, her tail is so heavy it makes her fall. <laughs> Isn't it such a good color? Look at that. We're seamless. You don't know where my nail ends and her tail begins. <laughs> um, I kind of can't tell what she is. Let me know in the comments below if you think you know what she is. At first I thought she might have been a cat, um, but her ears are not quite as cat-like as I would have thought. And we have a cat over there. So I'm thinking she might be like a squirrel or, well, she doesn't even look like a squirrel. I don't know. I'm not sure what she is. You let me know down in the comments section what you think she is. But she's got some purple hair and some shading to look like bangs. And blue eyes, so pretty. Her the eyes, I forgot to comment the eyes. The eyes are actually pretty decent on these fakes. Their their paint job is not that bad. I really like her eyes though. They just seem like they're sparkly, don't they? And I like her pose as well. Her tail is solid, it doesn't rotate or move. Um, they don't usually, so that's a good thing. But her head does move. It's less bobble-like than the horse. Let's see if hers comes up. Yep, it does. And let's check for her LPS logo. I do not see one. All right, moving on. Isn't this cute? At first, when we had it in the package, uh, it was put in like this, so I thought it was one of those super rare limited edition backwards pets. I think this might be a hamster. I don't know. It is orange and it has little red hearts inside its ears and a pink little fake tuft of hair. The eyelashes and shape of the eyes is pretty cute. It's not as good as the others, but it's not horrible. And it's got purple eyes with flecks of blue. It's by far the smallest of the four pets that we received. It's got a teeny tiny little body, which is why it makes me think it might be a hamster or a gerbil or something. And no LPS logo at all. But its head does pop off just like the others. See? Wow, what a lovely color. She is beautiful. Look at those eyes. They're really, really nice. I like the pale pink makeup that they put on her eyes. And she's got this itty bitty little beard underneath her muzzle there. Wait, do cats have muzzles or would that just be her mouth? I think it might just be bad paint job that gave her this little beard, but it's cute. It kind of makes her look like a bunny. And that's about it to her. She's got this feline body and a long curly tail. It winds up on itself and the back of her has some factory damage. Does her head pop off? Of course it does. 
she does not have an LPS logo. But let's switch their heads around just for fun. It's a horse cat. Oh my gosh, I made it better! I took the cat head and put it on the perhaps cat body. And look how cute she is. This is my new favorite. All right, moving on, I wanna show you what some real Littlest Pet Shop friends look like. So cute, right? They are good quality plastic, very nicely painted. They have a lot more details than the pets that I showed you a minute ago and they just have a lot more going for them. So take this one for example. This is our little dandy lion, I think it was called. He is so cute and he offers up plenty more by way of color than say this horse. Uh, on the horse I see two colors for the body, which is the orange and the brown, and then a little bit of a lighter brown, but I'm still gonna count that as two colors. And in the eye, we only see the white and the yellow. So not very much color-wise. Here I see some pale yellow, some nice light brown, a little bit darker brown. I see pinks, I see light pink, I see glitter, I see light blue, I see white, I see black. I am seeing a lot going on here. Also, of course, we have the LPS logo, some factory stamp to tell you who it is or whatnot, and the hole so that you can actually attach it to a playset. So yeah, he is not squishy at all. And can we take the head off? You can, it just takes a little bit more effort. There we go. <laughs> Sound like an old man yawning. But yeah, so that is the kind of quality you would expect from a real LPS little pal there. So let's check this one out. Oh, come on. Hey, so cute. Here we go, this one is like a little elk or something, I can't remember, don't judge me. Uh, once again, you can see so much color and detail and fun stuff going on. We see lots of glittery pinkish magenta, purple, yellow, green, light green, some shading, some pinks are in there, some light blue, of course we have the LPS logo down here. We've got some yellow on the tail and some shading of purple. Down here, we even have some padding on the feet, that's really nice quality, and the hole so that we can actually attach it to the other playset. I guess the only thing left to do is to play with our playset. So, right off the bat, I'm gonna let you know that there is no little, um, sticky uppy. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. There's no little posts that will let our um, pets actually attach themselves to this, so I guess it's a good thing that they didn't come with holes in their feet. Um, but yeah, oh gosh, I have misplaced the super wonderful extra rare trees. Let me find them. Found a basket. Yeah, I found them! Yay! It's a tree party! Woo! Okay. <laughs> this super not at all fake box shows us that they have a super cute pet sitting in the mirror and one sitting in the basket. So clearly, we aren't gonna be having fun unless we do that. She is going to be, or he, I don't know what it is, is going to be reigning supreme of the magical trees. But we have so many pets here, we'll put two in the basket. We'll be rebels. Wait, can we fit two? Ha, we're rebels. They don't look comfortable. Oh, stay, stay. There we go. Nope. Nope. Yeah! <laughs> they don't look very comfortable, but they are there. Now let's see if we can balance two of our pets on this teeter-totter. Um, we'd, we're probably gonna have to use a real one and a fake one because this one has such a heavy tail that I don't think it would balance with this itty bitty little. Oh, I was wrong. Wait, no I wasn't. Hold on. Oh, I was wrong. Can this one fit on the mirror? No. <laughs> Can anyone fit on the mirror? No. You lie, you lie. Remember, according to this box, this series has a strong sense for playing and is hand on. What? And is hands on and interlace. Do not forget the interlace. All right, let's get interlace chewel. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, my queen! I have come from the land down under, and I don't have an accent, but I bring you gift from this side of the table. 
It is a mirror, but the mirror does not mirror very well. Please do not smite me. I shan't smite you if I can see myself in said mirror. Oh, no smiting today. I look beautiful. We're at the end of the video. And we checked out this super fake play set. Um, it was not actually that bad. We could definitely use some more color and details on the teeter-totter and the mirror. It would be really cool if the drawers opened, but to be honest, I don't think we've had any uh, LPS stuff that had opening drawers yet, at least not in any of the sets that we've bought. But they could definitely use some color because Littlest Pet Shop usually offers a lot more color in their varieties and toys and details. And now I'm just blathering on. Anyways, <laughs> the pets were squishy and they're easily beheadable. So uh, that's no good. And yeah, the real ones, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like that. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and definitely share it with a friend if you think that they would enjoy it too. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.